Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Stats That Exist But Do Not Matter, brought to you by the DraftKings Sportsbook. And guys, I know that when I get to a game and I find out there's a giveaway on that night and I get something for free for just showing up, I feel electric. And I gotta feel like the players that it's themed after feel just as electric as I do. So today's theme is all about bobblehead nights, giveaway nights. How do the players themed around those giveaways perform on their special day? Let's kick it off with the most recent example. Anthony Rizzo on May 12, 2023, he had a Star Wars themed giveaway night where it was an Anthony Rizzo and Mandalorian crossover bobblehead. And he came up big against the Tampa Bay Rays going two for four with two homers and three RBIs. Those were the game deciding runs in a big interdivision win for the New York Yankees. Let's turn it back to 2010 to talk about Phillies pitching legend Roy Halladay who pitched a complete game allowing two runs off nine hits and six strikeouts, one of the best performances of his season, and it came on his very own bobblehead night. Yeah, one of the few rare guys here, though, that also lost on his bobblehead night despite his great performance. The Phillies lost that game 2-1 to one to the Pirates. Also, that same year, MLB.com was selling a bobblehead of Roy Halladay on their website, and uh, the bobblehead was a uh, left-handed throwing Roy Halladay, so obviously they quickly pulled it down because they clearly didn't know ball. I mean, there's no other way to say it. Another one from the early 2010s, Craig Kimbrell, arguably the greatest closer in Braves history. I'll leave it up to you to debate. He came in to pitch the ninth inning against the Yankees on June 13th in 2012. He got the first strikeout, he yielded a ground out, and then struck out Nick Swisher to supposedly end the inning. It was a drop third strike, so it resulted in another batter getting to the plate, and Craig Kimbrell struck him out too. He's the only player to get four outs in a single inning on his bobblehead night. Don't check us on that. I'm pretty sure that's an accurate stat. Otherwise, how would you even find it? Good luck. Luck. Enough about the best performers, though. What about the guys that absolutely flopped on their bobblehead night? The worst performers on their giveaway night. Let's go with Ryan Dempster way back in July of 2002. So to set up the context of this one, the Florida Marlins trade Ryan Dempster to the Reds on the 11th of that month. They had planned a bobblehead night for him. 15,000 bobbleheads in storage for his Reds debut. He goes out there against the Astros. Three and two-thirds innings, six earned runs, four walks, and six hits. He loses that game unsurprisingly. And to add insult to injury, that's the same year that the Marlins go on to win the World Series without him. Another Phillies one for the newly minted Philly back in 2012, Hunter Pence, who came over from the San Francisco Giants via trade. They planned a bobblehead night for him on August 21st. They had 45,000 ordered, so they went ahead with their plan. The Phillies would lose their game 5-4 to four against the Reds, and meanwhile, his old team, the Giants, went on to win 4-1 to one against their interdivision rival, and Pence went 0-4 for four in his bobblehead performance, never reaching base. But perhaps the worst of these performances isn't even the fault of the own player it was themed after. We have a funny one here. Nolan Reimold back in May of 2010. You may remember him if you're a diehard Orioles fan. The Orioles, they planned a bobblehead night for him, but he got off to such a slow start that season, hitting 205 in his first 29 games, that before his bobblehead night could happen, they demoted him. And then, worse yet, they still went through with the bobblehead night. So a bunch of bobbleheads were given away for a player that wasn't even on the team. It does not get messier than that. Nolan Reimold, you deserve some justice. And I hope you got one of the bobbleheads at the very least because you weren't even at the game, man. That's tough. So, yeah, there's a lot of messy history and good history when it comes to players on their bobblehead night or their giveaway night. It's a lot of pressure. you got to show up and really bring your A game. And if you're betting on those players, you want them to bring their A game when you're betting on the DraftKings Sportsbook, the sponsor of today's episode. Right now, new customers can bet just $5 on any pregame money line bet and get $150 in bonus bets instantly if that bet cashes. I would bet on a guy on his bobblehead night. I think he's going to show up and put up a great performance like Anthony Rizzo did just last month. You can spread that bonus bet money on some same game parlays for a shot at an even bigger payout right now if you download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code STATS, S-T-A-T-S, $5 on a pregame money line wager, $150 in bonus bets. It seems like a no-brainer. I highly suggest you take advantage of it. Go down Download their free and easy to use app now. Use code STATS, S T A T S. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details and any resources you might need for a gambling addiction are listed down below as always. We appreciate you. We love you. If I can give all of you a free bobblehead of my face, I totally would. I just don't have the funds for that right now. I hope you understand. And we'll see you next week.